We begin tonight with a big thank you to all who've served both past and present. This is, of course, Veterans Day, and we're dedicating much of our coverage to that tonight, beginning with Q2's David Jabe, who took a trip to Carbon County to see how veterans are being honored along Highway 212. Roberts has honored veterans with crosses and dog tags for seven years now, and you can see them all through town going all the way down the highway here on Highway 212, and it's something that has caught on in other towns as well, with Fromberg, Joliet, and Red Lodge also following what they're doing here in Roberts. This unique way of honoring veterans who have died comes all the way from Duluth, Georgia. Every year I was really impressed when I would go through there and they'd have crosses up. Kyle McKinney brought the idea to Carbon County and it started at a Veterans Day celebration with the Roberts Activities Committee adding dog tags to honor living veterans. We felt that we needed to thank and recognize our veterans that were still with us, not when they were gone, but why they're still here. So that's why we designed and created the dog tags. And the dog tags do go on either end in protection and in respect of the crosses that they protect. I know almost all the names, yeah, and this is just one project that I'm very passionate about. I didn't serve in the armed forces, but to be able to celebrate our veterans and active duty people, is, it just overwhelms me every year. Joliet then started with the crosses and dog tags in 2017. There was a young man that was working on his Eagle Scout project. And now it is ag kids yes. and the principal and a few of the residents. And before you know it, Red Lodge made it three towns along Highway 212, joining the honoring in 2018. The hospital allowed us to do that, which was really nice because you can walk along the sidewalk and read all the names. Driving down the highway, seeing all the flags and crosses yeah, for yeah. deceased veterans. Um, it's just really, it's really heart, heartfelt and we knew we had to do it. It just seems like even more appropriate for us because we do have so many people from our state who have served and served honorably. Finally, last year, Fromberg put down the crosses and dog tags along Highway 310. A nice gesture for the county to see that many veterans. I'm so thankful that we have people like this that have given their life for that cause. It, we can live in this country. It really is heartwarming to see, you know, other towns picking up now. In Roberts, David J, MTN News. The citizens of Carbon County now say they have the goal to rename that stretch of Highway 212, the Veterans Memorial Highway.